Hello, everybody. Welcome to today's webinar uh, regarding Foundation's family of products. Uh, I'm going to give people a few more minutes to log in, wait for a few more attendees to, to join us, and, and we'll be getting started in, in a minute or so. So I appreciate your patience with that. another 30 seconds and, and we'll get started. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Again, I want to thank everybody for, for joining us with today's webinar regarding Foundation's family of products. We're going to be doing a, a sneak peek of all of our product line roadmaps and, and give everybody a, a good solid idea as to what we're going to be working on over the next year and you know, try to set expectations for everyone as to, to what type of features they'll, they'll see coming. So before we, we jump into it, I'm going to quickly introduce myself. My name is Chad Ode. Um, I've been with the company for, for about 18 years now. I started out doing support, training, sales. I've done business analysis, project management, and now I work as a product manager <clears throat> for, for many of our, our product lines. And I work with the other product managers at our company to help with strategizing how we're going to build out long-term roadmaps for each of our product line. So today I'll be the one walking you through uh, what our current plans are for, for the various product lines that we have. So for today's agenda, we're gonna look at the short and long-term product goals, and we're gonna do it via looking at roadmaps. And we're gonna do it for the following product lines. What we'll do first is we'll take you through foundation software, and then we'll follow that up with looking at the HQ product suite. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at payroll for construction in combination with Workforce HQ, which is going to be our newest product release here in 2023. Then we're going to look at the edge estimating software, and then we'll wrap things up by looking at McCormick estimating software. So with that, let's go ahead and start out with foundation software. So for those of you who don't know foundation software, this is our flagship product. Um, the, Foundation software has been around for over 30 years now. We have approximately 6,500 to 7,000 companies using our job cost accounting program. And Foundation software's predominant focus is working with specialty contractors. Uh, we're very good at managing things such, such as job cost and WIP reporting, AIA billing, committed costs, and labor intensive payroll needs such as union payroll reporting, EEO reporting, and various certified payroll reports. So with that, let's take a look at what we're going to be working on over the next year within Foundation Software. So you'll see with each roadmap that we're going to bring up, it's broken down into quarters. Um, you'll see here quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, quarter four, going left to right. So there's, there's a lot of things we're working on within Foundation Software. For these roadmaps I'm going to show you, they're going to be very, very high level. We don't want to break out every single little thing that we're working on, whether it's maintenance or technical debt. We want to keep this high level and just give everybody an idea as to what sort of core features we're going to be working on. So with foundation, what we'll take a look at here first is integration. One of the things we're really going to be focusing on 
over the next 12 to 18 months within foundation software is, is stronger product integrations. You know, we want to we want to strongly enhance the integrations between our, our family of, of, of products, uh, making them stronger, making them more seamless, and, and giving them a true feel as an all-in-one software package. <clears throat> you know, one thing we've already done with foundation software, you know, one of our one of our products is the edge estimating software. We have a seamless integration with them right now, where if you're using the edge and you were awarded a job, that job and that budget comes right over. One of the other integrations we're currently working on is making a tighter integration with McCormick. So McCormick is our electrical estimating program. You know, as of right now, you can bring jobs, you can bring over material order lists. However, it doesn't bring over cost code budgets at this time. That's something we're working on and we plan to do this calendar year. Um, and one of the things we're doing to strengthen our integrations within our current family of products and software companies that, that aren't part of our corporation, third party software companies, we wanna be able to integrate with them more seamlessly as well. So what we're doing is if you look over to the right, you'll see a, bo a box for our foundation API. One thing we're doing is, is we're building out API endpoints within foundation software so we can more seamlessly link with products that are outside of our family of product lines. We want to be able to, to integrate with service packages, additional estimating software, um, HR software programs. You know, one thing we, we try to impart on our clients is, is we, we don't believe we're the answer for everyone with everything. There's going to be other products out there that may fit your business better than perhaps some of the products we have and we want to be able to integrate with them as well. So one big focus with foundation is, is really building out those API endpoints so we can have stronger product integrations within our own family of products and products outside of our family as well. <clears throat> so the other areas we're working on with foundation is new features as well. Um, one of the big things we're working on with foundation software you'll see over to the left is cash basis reporting. Over the years, foundation software is, is really specialized in putting together balance sheet reports, income statements and profit reports based on billings and invoices received from vendors. It had nothing to do with cash collection. A lot of companies now, they're looking to produce balance sheets and income statements based on the actual cash they've received and the cash they paid out to vendors. So we want to give clients the ability to do both type of reporting, accrual based, cash basis. We want to have both in there. Well, one of the other things we're doing too is we want to improve our form designers within foundation software. We want to modernize it a bit. You know, candidly, we'll admit the form designers that we have in foundation software, they're very strong. They have a lot of capabilities to them they're not always the easiest to use. And while we do give our clients access to build their own forms, a lot of times they do have to call in and help them and ask for help and we will help them. But a lot of clients wanna have that power in their own hands. So we're gonna be taking a look at the form designers that we have for billings and POs and some contract agreements and change orders. And we wanna create a more user-friendly interface so our clients can, can control the form building process on their own. So those are some of the new features that we're, we're looking to add to foundation software over the next year. Next, what we'll take a look at is, you know, it's last, but, but probably most important for a lot of our clients. A lot of our clients <clears throat> are specialty subcontractors. They have a large labor force. They have union payroll needs, certified payroll needs. Um, they'll work, they work in multiple states and they have complicated tax calculation needs. So, you know, one thing that we want to remind you is, is we're always going to be working hard to go above and beyond to ensure our payroll calculations and reporting standards meets the need of our construction intensive clients. We will always stay compliant with our tax table, federal and state. We will do our best to always have the most current and up-to-date certified payroll and EEO reports and make things as simplified as possible for clients who have complicated payroll needs, such as working in multiple unions or multiple prevailing wage jurisdictions, we will always go above and beyond 
to ensure foundation software meets your payroll compliance needs. So that's the roadmap for foundation software. Again, very, very high level. There's a lot of stuff we're working on underneath the hood, so to speak, to improve the performance, streamline the product. But from a feature standpoint, these were the key things that we wanted to make sure we shared with you that we're currently working on for this year. Next, the HQ suite. So the HQ suite, this is this is our, our newest product line that we've been building over the last few years. And our, our HQ suite, it's, it's web-based products to help our construction clients out. And they're web-based products that allow multiple users within a construction company that don't necessarily need to log into the accounting program, we want to provide them tools to utilize as well. So within the HQ suite, it's pretty expansive right now. You'll see that we've got multiple product lines within the HQ suite. We'll take a look at one, look at the one at the top left, Crew HQ. Uh, this is our labor resource allocation tool. We built Crew HQ to allow our clients to be able to go in and schedule labor, equipment, materials, subcontractors, schedule their resources to projects for multiple days, weeks, months at a time, <clears throat> schedule them to various tasks. And this tool is designed to give you more visibility as to where your resources are scheduled to, to ensure you're not over scheduling resources. But what it also does is it's gonna send notifications to your crew members. So when you schedule an employee to be at a project site, they'll actually get a notification that tells them what job to be at, what tasks they're gonna be working on, and how long they're going to be at that particular project. So it's a nice labor resource allocation tool that we built for our clients. If you look over to the right, Safety HQ. This is one of our newer product lines that we've introduced. Uh, Safety HQ is a tool that will allow companies to track incident reports, generate OSHA forms, manage toolbox talks, and other safety compliance issues out in the field. Uh, so Safety HQ is one of our newer product lines. It's been very, very successful for, for our company and for our clients so far. To the bottom right, you'll see Workforce HQ. I'm not gonna go into a ton of depth on this one during this slide. We're gonna talk a, a little bit more about that in a few minutes, but this is going to be the newest product line we release. Uh, it's going to be HR software designed for the construction company. And then finally, within the HQ suite, we have Project HQ and Executive HQ. And the idea behind Project and Executive HQ was we wanted to, we wanted to create a web-based system for our clients where the project managers no longer had to log into the accounting software to see job cost reports, manage change orders, submittals, RFIs, and things of that nature. We want to create a more user-friendly format for them to work on those documents and see real-time job costs, again, without having to log into the accounting system. The accounting staff typically doesn't want the PMs logging into the accounting software, and the PMs don't want to log into the accounting software. So we created this user-friendly web interface that integrates directly with Foundation. So now PMs can log in via their phone or whatever mobile device they're using, their laptop, their tablet, and they can see their real-time project activity, documents, job cost, and again, they don't have to touch the accounting system to do that. So let's go ahead and take a look at the HQ Suite Roadmap. Again, a lot of stuff going on here. So we'll tackle these roadmaps one product line at a time. And what we'll do is we'll start out with the Project HQ Roadmap. So again, Project HQ, this is the product our clients will use to manage submittals, RFIs, change order requests, daily logs, punch lists, POs, subcontracts, look at job cost reports, and it all seamlessly integrates with Foundation. What our current focus is on for the 2023 calendar year is improving our document storage capabilities. So as of right now with Project HQ, we integrate very well with products like Dropbox, Google Docs, 
OneDrive. We can integrate with those document storage tools, but a lot of our clients would prefer that we store those documents. So they don't have to work with two companies, two products. So what we've done is, is we've started the work of developing our own document storage tool within Project HQ, where when you upload things like job site pictures, insurance forms, drawings, whatever they may be, we'll host and store those documents for you. And that's gonna be due to come out first, second week of March. And once we release the initial document storage tool, we're gonna to get, uh, to get into markups and annotations where you'll actually be able to pull up those documents like job site pictures and drawings, whatever it may be. You'll be able to mark them up, put notes on there, signatures, highlight things, and share those documents with other users so they can see the markups and annotations that you have put on there. And then one other feature we're looking to do this year is integrate percent complete worksheet reporting within Project HQ. It's a tool we currently have in foundation software where PMs can manage their projected cost to complete. We want them to be able to do that in Project HQ as well. So those are the big features that we're currently working on in 2023. Um, real strong focus on improving our document storage capabilities. But we do have some feature sets on deck within Project HQ. Maybe some of these we'll get into at the tail end of 2023. Some of these we may get into in 2024. But what we're looking to build into Project HQ next is bid management capability, the ability to track a job before it's been awarded to your company. So you can run win-loss analytic reportings, project potential revenue, uh, see what projects you potentially are going to land so you can forecast labor. And then of course have that integrate directly into foundation software once the job's awarded. Um, we're also looking at enhancing our AP routing and PO routing capabilities. These are things that we're looking into and exploring and are hoping to get onto the roadmap, maybe more at the tail end of this year, or again, potentially into 2024. So we are looking to enhance this product very, very aggressively over the next year. So that's a look at the Project HQ roadmap for the next year. Next, we'll take a look at Crew HQ. So again, this is our labor resource allocation tool. This is what's gonna allow you to schedule employees, equipment items and materials to various jobs, tasks, or custom date ranges. Um, the feature that we're looking to add to this is, and we actually just released it about a week ago, is the uh, employee calendar view. This is a really nice tool where when you schedule an employee to a project, so let's say you schedule Rick, to work at project A from February 1st to March 18th, Rick is gonna get a, a text message or an email on his phone. He's gonna be able to click that link and it's gonna bring something up that looks very similar to Outlook where they can see a calendar view of where it is they're going to go and then they can click on whatever project they've been assigned to and they can see what tasks, other employees, what equipment items are there, things of that nature. Um, so that's actually the newest feature we've released. We wanna beef this roadmap up a little bit more, but what we wanna do is we really wanna get this in our clients' hands. We have about, a, about 150 clients using Crew HQ right now. So what we're gonna be doing is spending the next three to four months getting feedback from our clients on what they'd like to see. And then once we have a good picture of what it is our clients really wanna see added to this labor resource scheduling tool, we're gonna add items to this roadmap uh, at that time. Could be project style Gantt chart scheduling, labor forecasting, manpower forecasting, whatever it may be. There's a lot of different ways we could go with this, um, but we wanna get feedback from our clients rather than us being presumptuous and building out this roadmap further without getting additional feedback. So we've looked at Project HQ, we looked at Crew HQ, now we'll go ahead and take a look at Safety HQ. So as of right now, Safety HQ is a very good web-based product that we've built that allow you to track toolbox talks, incident reporting, create custom incident forms, OSHA report generation. Um, there's a lot of nice safety compliance tools built in there that integrates directly with foundation. So it's nice, your safety software, and accounting software seamlessly integrated together. 
So this is the current roadmap. This roadmap is going to expand quite a bit as well. Um, starting on July 1st, we're going to release a long-term game plan for the additional features we want to add to Safety HQ. Uh, what we recently just released was, if you look to the left, is the OSHA 300A form. So now as clients fill out their incident reports, at the end of the year, it'll tabulate all those incident reports and generate the OSHA 300 form. Um, we also just completed the Safety HQ Foundation integration to tie them out. And the next big feature that we're working on is safety certification warnings. So right now you can actually, you can set up certifications, upload certifications, um, you know, track employees training, education seminars they've completed, what their certification levels are, drug tests, past forms, whatever it may be, you can upload all those things. But now we're gonna take it a step further when a particular certification is coming up as due or it's due to expire, you're going to get warnings now notifying you of that. And we're looking at different ways to do it, whether it's an in-app warning, a warning via email, so that way you're prompted to instruct those employees to re-up on the necessary certifications to continue working at a particular job site or for your company as a whole. So again, the safety roadmap will, will expand quite a bit, but we're working with our client base right now, just like with Crew HQ. Let's really dial in what they want, and then we're gonna build the roadmap based on that. So now I wanna talk to everybody a little bit about the new product we're currently building and looking to release in 2023. And this is gonna be a product within the HQ suite that works very strongly with foundation software and payroll for construction. So for our payroll for construction only clients, this is gonna be a big service enhancement that, that we're gonna be providing. But this new HQ suite feature, Workforce HQ, it's gonna work great for our foundation clients or our payroll for construction clients is this is going to be our HR software platform that we are releasing. So let's take a look at the Workforce HQ roadmap that we have. So right now, approximately around September 1st, that's our approximate goal date, could be a little bit earlier, could be a little bit later, is when we wanna release our initial Workforce HQ HR platform to our client base. And with the initial release, we're gonna be focusing on two key things, onboarding and employee self-services. So what we're gonna do with this initial HR product release, Workforce HQ, is one, improve the onboarding experience. So now when you hire an employee, you can enter that employee's name an email address into Workforce HQ. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna send an email or a text message to that new hire, and it's gonna take them through an onboarding wizard where that employee can put in all their pertinent information, personal information, I-9 information, federal and state W-4 information, any data that you have to collect during the hiring process, the employee's gonna be able to fill that in through an online dashboard. And what's great is now the HR admin is gonna be able to see that employee's prog that new hire's progress as they're filling it out. And when that new hire is done filling out that info, it's gonna notify the HR admin. So at that point, they'll have the option to click accept and it'll automatically generate that employee in foundation software. So it's gonna eliminate dual entry. You no longer have to manage the onboarding process in a separate software program and then manually rekey that employee into foundation, it's gonna tie that process out together. The other tool that we're building with the initial release is called the HR Employee Self-Service Portal. What we wanna do is we wanna have employees be able to log into this portal to view pay stubs, access electronic W-2s, but also be able to update their personal information, such as their address, contacts, beneficiaries, direct deposit accounts, 401k amounts. Um, we also are gonna be creating the ability for them to make PTO requests. And then those PTO requests will get routed to their supervisor for approval or rejection. So now all this will be built within this HR program. So again, 
If you're a foundation or a P4C user, you don't have to use a separate HR package to manage it. We're gonna build this all into one seamless package. So again, in phase one, we wanna do onboarding, create a more seamless way for employees to get you the pertinent information so you can upload that into the accounting software and then create a portal for those employees to look at pay stubs, W-2s, and update their personal info, 401k, direct deposit info, and automate the PTO approval and rejection process. Once we release those two features, what we're gonna work on for the remainder of the year is creating a nice HR review portal where we can do review management and then certification management. Um, you know, we want the ability to track certifications, tie that out with our safety software or accounting software. So one of the things we're really gonna focus on after this initial release is creating a nice review, review tool management and enhanced certification management as well. Now, after we do that, there's gonna be a lot of things we can do to enhance the HR Workforce HQ program. But a lot of this stuff is probably going to be done in the 2024 calendar year, such as applicant tracking or recruit management, integrating with 401k and benefit programs, and then creating open enrollment um, for, for employees to go in and electronically update on an annual basis their benefits and, and things of that nature. Those are things we're gonna be looking at in 2024. So we wanna start simple though in the beginning, really do a good job with onboarding, in the employee portal, get review and certification management done. And then again, in 2024, we'll look at these future feature sets like applicant tracking, integrations, open enrollment, and really try to build this product out fully. So that, that's the big product that we're looking to release this year. Um, really excited about it. We got a lot of clients in line, already excited to take a look at this and, and add it to their portfolio. So this is something we're very, very excited about for our client base. So that's the HQ Suite Roadmap. Next, we're gonna take a look at Edge Estimating. So this is one of our newer partner companies. Uh, Edge Estimating, they have got a great reputation in the industry for being very strong with takeoff and estimating for roofing contractors, drywall, fireproofing, acoustical, interior, exterior. Um, they've really made a great name for themselves again creating a very robust and user-friendly takeoff estimating package for, for those particular trades right there. Um, you know, one of the things they're, they're really known for well is, is their customer service. They're very responsive to their client base and taking care of their needs, building out the package based on those specific trades. And uh, we're really excited about the partnership we've had with them the last year. It's gone very, very well. Um, and, and we're looking forward to, to building this product out further uh, for our clients using the Edge. So the Edge roadmap, very expansive. We've got a lot of things on deck that we wanna do. We're not gonna get into all of them in detail. We're gonna kind of hone in on some of the things our Edge clients are most excited about. So looking at their roadmap, the first big feature that, that I wanna talk about is the proposal writer. So what's cool about this now is, is we're gonna build a feature where when the edge estimator builds out an estimate and looks at their bid summary, you're gonna actually be able to convert that into a proposal to send the GC or the customer. Um, so they're gonna be able to pull directly from the edge bid into your own custom proposal template. Um, so you can continue using your existing format. If you've got a proposal format that you like, we're gonna be able to build this in the template editor. So again, when you build the estimate and bid in the edge, it's gonna automatically fill in that proposal for you. So now we're gonna eliminate the need for our clients to have to do double entry, do the estimate, and then they have to go in and build the proposal separately. We're gonna tie that out into one seamless feature. So we're really, really excited about that with the edge. The other thing that we're really excited about is the partnership we're, we're building with Beacon Pro Plus. So Beacon, it's a really nice software company. And one of the things they do well is manage material order and material acquisition. It's a really nice PO management software. And we're really excited about being able to integrate with them. 
what, what we're going to be able to do is we're going to be able to place an order through Beacon Pro Plus's digital platform. Um, and, and right from the edge pricing screen, we're going to be able to select items that you want to order, click the Beacon button, and it's going to create a seamless interface between edge and Beacon, giving you an easy to use interface for shipping materials, when to ship them, um, even send the purchasing agent a completed requirement form. All of this stuff is going to be done more seamlessly now, uh, you know, through this integration that we're building out with Beacon. So this is going to be a really cool tool for our edge clients to help automate their project material ordering process. So that's a that's an integration we're really, really excited about right there. So again, with the proposal writer, we're going to pull edge bid information directly into your proposal template, eliminate double entry. With the Beacon integration, right from the edge pricing screen, we're going to select items for order. And through the Beacon integration, the purchase order management process is going to be initiated. And then down to the bottom right here, one of the things we're doing too is we want to build out further integrations with the Edge. The Edge has really fantastic API capabilities. Um, and due to those, those API capabilities, Edge estimating software already seamlessly integrates with Foundation. So if you're a drywall roofing contractor, you do fireproofing, and you're interested in looking at an estimating program for your industry, Edge is a great one to look at, and it seamlessly integrates with Foundation. And if you're already an Edge user, and you're not using the integration that we have built with Foundation, you're definitely going to want to contact us. It's a nice tool that pushes the job and the budget right into Foundation, eliminating a lot of double entry. So we already do that. What we're looking to build out next is having the Edge estimate flow over into our Project HQ suite products as well. So that is our edge roadmap. Again, a lot of things going on here. You'll see there's a lot of things on the roadmap that we're focused on. But again, I just really wanted to highlight at a high level some of the things our clients uh, are, are most excited about. Now, another product within the edge family is Vector and Takeoff HQ. Now, Vector and Takeoff HQ, this is our, our new web-based takeoff and estimating program. The, the area that Vector Takeoff HQ really excels at is being able to take Revit files, 3D, you know, takeoff will be something you'll be able to do. So now being relegated to strict 2D takeoff platforms, you're going to be able to do 3D takeoffs now within Vector Takeoff HQ. Um, another feature that we're working on with Vector Takeoff HQ is being able to take aerial shots and generate takeoffs from those aerial shots that were taken. So this is going to be a, a really powerful takeoff tool um, that's web-based and again allows you to go from 2D takeoffs to 3D and be able to take aerial pictures and convert those into takeoffs as well. But we also want to build out a nice web-based estimating tool in this as well. So let's take a look at the roadmap and talk about that a little bit further. One of the things we're working on with Vector and Takeoff HQ is we're building out what's called a scaffold database. Now, this scaffold database, all this is, is it's architecture within Vector Takeoff HQ that allows us to build multiple database of items and assemblies that are industry specific. So again, the edge, great for drywall, fireproofing, roofing. Vector and Takeoff HQ, we want to create an estimating program for other trades out there. So what we did was, is first and foremost, we built an import tool. So now, if you've got an Excel spreadsheet with your items and assemblies, you can import those in and start using Vector Takeoff HQ to do your estimates off of your custom estimate and assembly list. What we're also going to do is build pre-built item and assembly lists. Our focus for the 2023 calendar year are two trades in particular. We want to do pre-built assemblies for concrete contractors and general contractors. So that's going to be our starting point. So we're going to build this estimating program to work very well with concrete and GCs. And then as we learn more and build those out to work well for those trades, 
will start to expand into other trade classifications as well. So that's the main focus right now with Vector and Takeoff HQ. It's already a great takeoff tool for 3D and aerial takeoffs. Um, but now we want to enhance that estimating component so we can not only serve the drywall, fireproofing, and roofing contractors, we want to now try to serve concrete and GC contractors as well. The other thing that we're doing is, is we want to create that integration with the HQ suite of products. But again, very similar to the Edge, Vector Takeoff HQ already integrates with foundation software seamlessly. So we have that done. Next step, Vector and Takeoff HQ. Let's get that more seamlessly integrated with our HQ family of products as well. And you'll see over to the left, again, proposal writer we're building in, reporting improvements. So we're doing some really cool things here uh, within this Vector Takeoff HQ mobile-based takeoff program. Finally, McCormick. McCormick is a really, really good estimating program designed specifically for electrical contractors. Also does a very good job with low voltage and plumbing, but McCormick, we've really made our name in, in taking care of companies that are in the electrical industry. Um, so with that, while it's already a very, very strong estimating program designed specifically for electricals, where they've really made a name for themselves is their DEP package for takeoff management. Um, one thing McCormick is known for in the electrical industry compared to its competitors is we have one of the best, most powerful, easy to use takeoff systems out there for electrical contractors. And now we wanna we really want to combo that with having the best estimating tool possible to work with this already extremely strong takeoff tool that we have built within McCormick. So just like the Edge, we've got a lot of stuff we're working on. A lot of, a lot of small features, medium-sized features. There's a lot of things we're getting into over the next year. But let's focus on some of the high-level things that we're currently working on. There's two big things within McCormick that we wanna release in the 2023 calendar year. And the first one is extension enhancement. What we wanna do with extensions is, we're gonna rewrite this capability from scratch so the extension feature works a lot faster and it's a lot more streamlined under the hood. So what we're gonna be doing is, is we're gonna be including features such as independent label set pricing and labor. So essentially, what that means is if you wanna include a 10% bump on material or labor just on the second floor, you're going to be able to do that now. Um, but we're also enabling the edit of cost codes to allow for different cost codes per label set in an extension. So essentially, this is going to allow you to give conduit in the basement a different cost code than what you would give it on the third floor. So extensions is going to allow McCormick estimating to be far more robust and far more detailed. So this is gonna be a great, great feature to, to really enhance the strength and depth of the estimating capability within McCormick. So you know, with that, we're very, very excited about that feature because again, it's gonna utilize independent label set pricing and to reiterate, it's gonna have multiple markup methods for labor and materials with flexible breakdown structure using multiple cost codes. So very excited about that feature. The next feature that we're going to be working on is bid summary management. What this is going to allow for is more detailed bid summary capabilities and allow you to break your bids into greater detail. So I would argue that bid summary, this is where probably the most exciting new changes are going to occur in McCormick. Um, currently, only two numbers come out of the extension estimating total material and total labor hours. Your bid summary information just sits on top of this and it gives you a total bid. The disadvantage to this is, is you can't break your bid out into multiple sections. With this newest update we're gonna do to bid summary management, we're gonna allow you to take label set information along with the two totals in bid summary 
and, and give you the ability to assign bid summary costs to the same label sets used for take on, which means more detail. You can spread costs across the entire job or limit it to certain areas. So in a nutshell, if you want trenching to be a floor one cost and not be included in floor two, you're gonna be able to do that now. So you're gonna have a lot more control over the cost detail breakout on a project. So extensions and bid summary, these are two really big projects we're working on. So now not only will we have the best takeoff product for electrical contractors, we're now gonna have the best takeoff and most robust estimating product for electrical contractors as well. So we're really, really excited about this. And then what extensions and bid summary is gonna allow us to do is enhance our integration capabilities, not only with our HQ suite and foundation software, but other accounting packages as well. So what's gonna happen is, is now that we can break our budgets down into more detailed phase and cost code levels, we're gonna be able to bring over detailed budgets into foundation's accounting package. Right now with McCormick, when a job's awarded, you can bring over the job description, you can bring over a material order worksheet, but you can't bring over the cost code budget. So once we get done with extensions in bid summary, you're gonna be able to do that. When a job is awarded, right from McCormick, you're gonna be able to push over the job and the detailed estimate seamlessly with a click, so you don't have to manually rekey all that information into the accounting package. So doing some really cool stuff with McCormick, really trying to enhance the estimating side. So we're gonna be able to go in show customers a powerful takeoff and estimating tool and really have a truly well-rounded product for, for our client base. So that's today's presentation. I wanna thank everybody for, for joining and taking a look at the roadmaps for the 2023 calendar year for all of our product lines. I know people probably have a lot of questions that they'd like to go through. Um, you'll see over in the GoToMeeting webinar panel on the right, there is a question section. Feel free to take the next couple of minutes to key your questions in. I won't be answering those questions during this webinar, but what we will be doing is taking those questions, forwarding them to the appropriate subject matter expert, and we will reach out to you direct. So if you go ahead and put a question in, we will contact you directly to go through that question. Now, if you wanna reach out to us directly yourself to go through questions on maybe any of the products you currently own, or maybe there was a product you saw that you're not using and you're curious about, contact us. Um, you can call us at 800-246-0800. And again, I'll go ahead and I'll put that number on the screen for you. Let me just scroll up to the top slide here. So again, here's that number at the bottom left, 800-246-0800. So if you have questions that you wanna go through about what we're producing, you can contact us on that. Or again, if you have a question on a product you're not utilizing, yeah, contact us. We'll put you in the hands of the right person to take care of that question for you. So again, please over on that go-to meeting uh, webinar panel to the right, there is a question section. Key your questions in over the next minute. We'll make sure we get those to the right people. And I promise you, we will reach out you, to you directly and answer that particular question. So again, thank you for your time and uh, really appreciate it. Take care. Again, everybody, please take another minute or so, get your questions in, and uh, we will reach out to you directly to make sure those get answered.
All right, with that, we'll wrap up today's webinar. Again, everybody, thank you for your time. We did record this. We will get this sent out to all attendees. Please contact us with questions and we'll be happy to help out. Take care, bye.